All right, so we did some tints. Um, you can label these. Uh, this is uh, your hue or chroma, your center. Um, these are going to be tints down here. So we've got your tints right here, which are uh, um, white plus color. A color plus white or white plus a color. Our shades are going to be down here. And when you hear the word shade, the traditional definition of a shade is a color plus black. However, we like to teach it a color plus uh, the complement. All right? Um, plus a complementary color. And what we found is that using non-blacks to mix with your, your other color to create shades just ends up creating more of a dimensional, more warm, uh, more realistic looking subject or, or uh, drawing or painting than if you used black exclusively. I mean, we use black, uh, but, but we kind of use it minimally. And every time we use it, we use it with you know, other things, the complement, or we use it with blues or browns or reds, um, a little something we throw in with it. Uh, I wasn't kidding when I said we really take care of our pencils and we use them down to the littlest of nubs. Um, this is what, you know, becomes of our pencils. And then I hand carve them and give them as gifts to friends as a joke. But they're kind of wonderful, aren't they? Um, but, you, you know, they're so expensive, you want to just use them down to the, the last little bits. So take good care of them like you have been. All right? Um, with this one, I would suggest you go right to the end box to mix your shade because then you really can see with the end box, we're just going to get it as dark as we possibly can get it. Um, so in this case, we're always putting the lighter value down first, right? Uh, and obviously, the lighter value is going to be the green. The green and the red, the green is lighter. The blue and the orange, they're so close. Um, you could probably do either, but I'm going to ask you to put your blue down and mix the orange to it. Um, when I do this red, guys, do a very, uh, you know, when you get over here, a little bit, little amount, um, even at the end here, we're not going to oversaturate it because we still want it to have a green tone to it. If you push too hard with the red, all you're going to get is, is a really deep red. And again, this is a learning exercise. So this is like, now you learn how much you need or how little you need, how much is too much and how much is not enough. And that's kind of the point of this. So don't get all upset if it doesn't really work out perfectly. That's why we're doing this. So when we actually work with our bottle and we start trying to create shade areas on our bottle, you have a little bit better control and, and know what to expect with these pencils. Um, some of the darker hues will mix in and uh, really become really rich. So you can see me kind of going back and mixing this in. I'm going to get this much darker. This one would probably be that one on the, on the bar. Uh, and then we'll get a lighter one as well. So I'll keep working on mine, and you keep working on yours. Of course, if you're the blue person, put the, uh, you know, the blue down, your orange, and then use your blue to mix. Uh, and then you're hopefully you'll start to get something that, that looks like this. So we just go from white to the middle to the dark. And you can see uh, a good range of value. All right?